In this video, we are going to discuss about how to check periodicity of a discrete signal. So, in periodic aperiodic signals concept, when we are discussing basic signals, uh, periodic aperiodic signals concept, there I, I discussed uh, with you about uh, continuous signal periodicity. So, whatever examples we discussed there, that is all or of uh, continuous time signals. Here, if you want to check periodicity of a discrete signal, we need to follow some basic steps which are very, very simple than checking for continuous. Here coming to a discrete signal, a discrete signal x of n is said to be periodic when it satisfies the condition x of n is equal to x of n plus capital N. This is very similar to continuous signal periodicity condition. So, for n, uh, for every n time interval, it, the signal need to repeat, then that is said to be periodic. So, now if a discrete signal is said to be periodic, if a discrete signal is periodic, then the ratio of its fundamental frequency divided by 2 pi must be a rational number. That means that is equal into m by n where m is equal into number of full cycles in the original continuous signal and where capital N that means denominator in this ratio uh, will become number of samples. So, coming to checking of periodicity of discrete time signals coming to continuous time signal I want to compare these two. So, when a continuous time signal is given uh, we are having two methods there I discussed this two method one is GCD method another method is uh, T1 by T2 considering the ratio of time periods ratio of time periods methods and GCD method we are having for continuous time signal uh, periodic, uh, periodicity check for, uh, for discrete signals to check periodicity we are having an equation omega naught by 2 pi this must be a rational number that means integer by integer. So, now I am going to consider some examples. So, they given example for example they given like this x of n is equal to you are having sin n by 2 minus pi by 2 like this they given x of n is equal to sin n by 2 minus pi by 2. So, you need to check whether the signal is periodic or not. So, to check this I want to compare with the uh, basic definition of sinusoid. So, that is I want to compare with sin omega n plus r minus pi. I want to compare with or phi. This is phase. So, here this is discrete sinusoid where omega is equal to omega n is equal to n by 2. So, if you compare these two, we do not require any phase value to calculate periodicity of a signal. We just need this omega, whatever angular frequency is there, that only we need. So, if you compare these two, I am going to get my omega is equal to 1 by 2. If you calculate omega by 2 pi value or omega naught by 2 pi value, then what you are going to get is 1 by 2 by 2 pi that is equal to 1 by 4 pi. This is not rational number, this is irrational number and it is not periodic signal, not periodic. Why? Because this is a irrational number, that is why this is not periodic. So, like this we need to check periodicity of discrete signals. Uh, for discrete signals, do not apply that GCD concept and uh, other uh, T1 by T2 that means ratio of time periods concept. You need to apply this concept for calculating uh, periodicity of a discrete signal. So, now for example, I am going to consider another example. So, here for example, x of n is equal to this is example 2. I am going to consider for discrete signal periodicity. So, x of n is equal to e power j pi by 2 n for example, if you are having like this. So, this is a signal given. Then if you need to check this is a periodic or not, then you need to uh, compare with basic exponential j omega n as the, this is discrete signal, you need to compare with j omega n that is a positive exponential e power j omega n. If you compare these two, then omega will be equal to pi by 2. If omega is equal to pi by 2, omega by 2 pi will become pi by 2 by 2 pi. Then you are going to get pi pi will be cancelled. Then this is equal to 1 by 4. Now your m by n value is equal to 1 by 4. 
So, this is in integer by integer format. Your ratio of m by n is equivalent to integer by integer or rational number. So, definitely you can say this signal is a periodic signal. Periodic signal always um, your period of discrete signal will be samples, number of samples. So, here the number of samples or period of this discrete signal is equivalent to 4. So, in continuous signals periodicity checking after calculating T1 by T2 if you want period. So, for example, in continuous period, uh, period periodicity checking T1 by T2 is equivalent to for example 1 by 2 there you can see one example in the topic. So, then 2 T1 or 1 T2 will become period but here not like that. If your m by n value is a rational number and you got integer by integer format, whatever value in, in place of n that will become number of samples or period of your discrete signal. So, this is about your discrete signal and periodicity of discrete signal. Important point in this is you need to calculate omega naught by 2 pi only one method to calculate. Uh, periodicity of your discrete signal. This is very very important concept for gate like technical exams.